Hello once again audience and welcome to another episode of the Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword HD. Um, getting back into it, I think it's the safe slot. Maybe it's this one. Yeah, I think it's this one. Okay. Um, yeah, so we are in the, um, Proto Temple of Time that is already ancient despite the fact that this is like, it when it's younger and it's, in it's like teenage phases. So... Okay. Yes, we went outside. We saw the beam of light. Impo with her huge freaking jowls told us to go outside. Uh, yeah. I think I remember. It is like a week between when I play this. So I kind of forget some stuff. Because I'm just that smart. Yeah, yes, game. There's the blue beam of light. It is a light of murder. Come on. Game. I get it. We can get it. There's the, yeah, the pouch from, um, our friend, Fledge, who is literally, oh, look at those cute little birds. Shink. Get some, get some ruppies. Damn, I wish money would come out of bushes when I hit it. There's some sort of tribe circle going on over there. Gonna go check that out. I mean, it's kind of funny, the currency that they use in the Skyland is the same currency that happens to magically pop out of bushes down here. I'm surprised not everyone's just bloody rich. These boulders. Can I throw boulders at them? Okay, what's... Before I go over to the tribe circle, what is... Oh, I killed... I killed the butterfly. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I feel really bad now. Oh, no. No. This is unfortunate. Okay, I'm gonna go check out this, uh tribal prayer circle i don't know this is just their bible study i away scram i'm not using that voice I'll, I'll decide something once i actually talk to him he, he switches the direction that i'm hitting every single time i hit get away you pieces of crap Can I just use this over and over? I can. Are they laughing at me, these pieces of crap? Oh yeah, I forgot I can parry. Yeah, that's right. You back the frick off. We don't like religion here. Your kind is not wanted. Yeah, that's right. I'm just gonna use my thing over and over. It's working. Try to parry. Come on. Oh yeah, you can parry. Okay, so that worked out. I'm out of basically out of hearts. Well, thank you for helping me in there. It's right here, me bud. You know, okay, this is the voice I'm gonna commit to. Sorry. Just who are those red pests? I did not even expect the runners were pack of them in this peaceful forest. Oh, that wasn't a prayer ritual. Same goes for you. This is the second time I've bumped into one of your kind today. I tell you, all sorts of weird things are happening going on lately. I owe you big for taking care of those guys. You literally, like, ripped off their fucking heads. So let me tell you something fascinating. Okay, what's what's fascinating, huh? This this bird statue. Hey, bird! I'm Gordo the Go Gorko the Goron. I'm researching an ancient history of the words here, according to the ancient texts. <laughs> there is some kind of place above the Isle of the Goddess, far up in the sky. Apparently, <laughs> I need to stop. These old statues serve as landmarks to traveling up to the sky or down from the Isle of the Goddess place. If you find one, be sure to examine it and keep tabs on the number of landmarks. They're rumored to be quite useful. Supposedly, this statue is special, as it has the ability to activate all other statues. Okay, okay, good. So they'll stop being broken. The whole thing sounds a little crazy, I know. <laughs> but I, for one, believe it to be true. Otherwise, why would all these statues be all over the place? Because someone built them? 
Pyramids exist, that doesn't mean they do anything. Or do they? It's a real, <laughs> it's a real head scratcher, bud, but you want to know more. Does it not? What? Oh, it makes you want to, yeah. It's just cause... Ah, sounds like I have a fellow connoisseur of ancient cultures here. All right, bud, but you better brace yourself, because I'm about to blow your mind. So get this. People actually live on a sky island, and they get around on it by flying on the backs of huge, huge birds that are way bigger than the birds down here. Up there, everyone reveres the goddess, and the residents of all the islands in the sky live in a perfect society, totally free from conflict or unhappiness. Except from Gruus. Nah, Gruus is epic. He, he's the opposite of unhappiness. Not only that, but from what I can tell, their civilization is way, way more advanced than ours down here. But it does not even stop there, bud. The island of Goddess is even more stuff to marvel at. This place was crafted by the Goddess herself, so it features... <laughs> so it's filled with all the wonders that we do not have here. The buildings are made of gold. An endless spring of mystical water feeds the river through the place. One sip of that stuff and you'll live forever. I don't know about the living forever part, but the the fact that they have infinite water sources up there is pretty impressive. The trees are heavy with plump fruit that cures all disease. The fields are not crowded with pumpkins. Are pu crowded with pumpkins <laughs> that never rot. Magic wildflowers boom everywhere. Jesus, I can't do this anymore. And the weather? Oh, the weather, bud. Not too hot, not too cold. No chance of sweaty heat in this garden paradise. That is the Isle of the Goddess. Amazing, right? Wrong. It's beyond amazing. You want to hear more about it, don't you? Sure. <laughs> Good to hear, bud, but I'm completely obsessed with this place. I can't get enough of it. I wish I had more to tell you now, but I need to research these statues to learn more. Next time I bump into you, I'll give you the latest info. Oh, thank God. Oh, okay, so I can activate this? I'm assuming a Skyward Strike. Oh, he's like, oh shit. Whoa. What in the world just happened? Did you hear some kind of magic? The statue reacted the moment you got near it, but how crazy is that? Can I, can I save? Go to the sky. I don't, I don't need to do any of this. Wait, you know what? Okay, actually I'm gonna travel up to the sky so this guy gets beat all of a sudden is just like, What the frick? <laughs> you can also use the... Haha, <laughs> it's just teleportation. Oh, it's not teleportation. It just creates a... It creates an updraft. Okay. Um... Which uh, what was I gonna say? Ah, uh, it's been a while since since we were riding our burb. Okay, actually, it hasn't been that long, but still. So, to get back down, do I fly down or do I do I visit a statue, kind of like what I'm doing now? Um. Okay, I'm back. Yep, here we are. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no! Your hearts have decreased dramatically. Replenish some of your life at the earliest opportunity. Thank you, Fee. I, you're, you're such a helpful AI. You're, you're like Jarvis, except you're also a sword and you're like prehistoric or something. Very epic. Yeah, so... What's he gonna say now? Take good care of yourself. Okay, yeah, he's. Okay, right, the people don't have updated dialogue, so I'm gonna head back. That's that's depressing. Um, I can't head back, so I have to fly down through the cloud barrier. That is annoying, but I guess it makes sense. Um. Yippee! What? As I was saying. Yippee! Okay, so. Let's head back down there and continue. And this gout, this Goron guy is gonna be like, "What the fuck did I just witness?" He'll be really impressed, and I'll be able to pretend that I'm from some super advanced race, even though I'm just flaunting technology given to us by what is basically a god. I mean, they might have. It might have just been like the Sheikah. Like it might just. What is that? Is that, is that like a little messenger bird? What was that? I don't know what that was. Okay. 
Okay. Okay, I'll, sh I'll shut up. A report, Master. It is possible to descend to a specific bird statue on the surface after you have already visited it and I have memorized its location. To do this, point at the area you want to descend to with your pointer and press A to confirm your destination. I think... Come on. Ugh. Yeah, it's that one. Descend into this area? Yes. Okay. Um, I think that's the right one. So, cloth. Oh, was the gow the 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 Goron guy left? He was like, "What the fuck?" Oh, he's still here. Hey. I have to examine this statue further. You're not gonna comment on the fact that I just flew up into the sky. Okay, that's okay. It's not important. We don't need to. He doesn't want to comment on that. Then he doesn't need to. What's well, a dark cave? I gotta explore it. It's dangerous to go alone. Take this. Oh, 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 oh! This is the. Sorry. Earlier, last episode, we, we found this place and we're like, hey, I think this is a fast travel. There we go. Now we can get back through there really quickly. I don't know what the point of it is because you can fast travel using... Sort of fast travel using the statues, but... Um... That's besides the point. <laughs> yeah, my throat's actually dying inside. <laughs> Master, now that you have access to the stone statue, you can return to the sky at will. Thank you, you told me a bit too late. Furthermore, by using a certain amiibo figure, you can return to the sky from anywhere on the surface and come back just where you left. Please call me any time you would like to use an amiibo. You can also enable or disable amiibo from the options. I, I do actually have the amiibo to, that lets you... Okay, I'm gonna go over there in just a second. Hold on. I do actually have the amiibo that lets you do that. Um, but... I, I don't want to take it out of the box because, um, go watch the song, or listen to the song, or and watch the music video, White and Nerdy by Weird Al Yankovic, and that will pretty accurately describe how I am. So, yeah. I don't think that warrants playing the, the Zelda puzzle solved noise, but sure, I rolled a log so I can hop up here. Okay. Let's see, can I... How do I, how do I get rid of it? Yep, okay, that's good enough. I walked like four feet and there's another statue. Master, you have entered the Farron Woods. Oh my god, is that the great deco tree? Farron Woods. Dun, dun, dun. The plentiful water in this region clearly sustains a large diversity of flora, including something something. It is logical that the lush plant life and water resources have attracted the animal. <laughs> Sorry, Jesus Christ. Have attracted the animal, wildlife, and, and something else. Nice. Sealed ground. Okay, nice. Thank you, game. Looking at the probabilities, it is extremely likely that Zelda is somewhere in the area. I recommend you continue using your dowsing ability in order to search for her. I kind of want to explore, but sure, if if that includes using my dowsing ability. Ah, so I need to I need to push down a log from up there. Okay. For everyone complained that this game was too linear, so from what I'm thinking, I'm not gonna really have to search for Zelda, I'm just gonna sort of wander and then find her. Um, if I do get lost, I will use my dowsing ability. Wait. This is super weird, the motion controls for for uh, the, the swinging. Oh, what the hell is that? Oh, shit. Oh, is it like... Is it like a Murdoch? I think it's stuck to me. Explosive plants. What will they think of next? Jesus Christ. Okay. That's not normal, but what have I got? Okay, I, that was fun. I don't care. 
Okay, they don't all give you ruppies, so I'm not going to go through and do every single one. I can have an excuse for this point, because I need to get past here, but... God, that was satisfying. Okay. Um... Oh my god, it's another tribal circle! And they're surrounding... Whatever the frick that is. And... Parry! God. Okay, I actually really like the combat in this game. It's It feels like I'm playing the stupid... Um, okay. So, in Wii Sports Resort, obviously there was the... The, the mode where you would... Sorry. I actually had to concentrate a, a, a little bit. Um, there was a mode in the sword fighting game where you would just go on onslaughts of enemies over and over fight fighting like hundreds of me's what are you what the what is this oh he's adorable he's a little bird man it's gone quiet machi yeah quick too now there's a green one i didn't even know that tim and green <laughs> Don't hurt me, Kukip! Kuweep! Is is that a nervous tick? He just has to say that. How do you get up there so quick? He's secretly like a runner for his for his track team. So I would be like, hey, where can I go? But it's, I can't. I don't have a decision of where I can go. This is this is the only way forward. So that's okay. Yeah, people were complaining about the linearness of this game. I, that is... Listen, those people that are complaining, you got Breath of the Wild, so shut your freaking pie hole. What the heck? He's like a little flower, but I, I can appreciate that. Yeah. Where it, like, opens up when he's scared. I don't know how I, I don't know how I feel about that. Um, okay. So you're back up there. Oh. <laughs> boy, boy, boy. B, were you trying to say something? You called for me, master? <laughs> nope, I, I did not call for you. It's okay, you can go back in there. Um, okay, I'm gonna have to end the episode. I will continue next time. Um, and try and talk to this little penguin bird thing. But, yeah. Um, sorry, this feels short, but that's just how it be, but it do. Thank you so much for watching. Click annotation in the top right if you like watching these videos. If you sneeze during this video, bless your face. Peace off.